Okay, so folks here, I have my chicken. One of the things when you're frying chicken, you want to stay away from using whole fresh seasonings, such as things like garlic and thyme and green seasoning like we use in Trinidad, because it actually makes the oil burn and then your chicken don't cook properly. So you end up with very dark chicken on the outside and uncooked chicken on the inside. The second thing that that also does is it really burns the oil so that that same thing your chicken colors too fast but also the moisture from the herbs once it hits the oil it drops the temperature of the oil causing your chicken to fry in a lower temp oil making your chicken soggy all right so here i have my chicken and in this marinade all i have is powdered seasoning such as um garlic powder i have some black pepper salt a little bit of um sazon and then i added uh, lemon juice lime juice sorry is what I use to clean my chicken and I put a little bit extra once I do that I make a mixture of milk um, Frank's red hot pepper sauce um, pepper and um, eggs two eggs and I mix that together and then I pour it on the marinated chicken and what that does it, it really gives a chicken more of a tenderness because the milk and the lime juice reacts with each other creating buttermilk and really gets the chicken nice and tender so this is what my chicken looks like all right so i'm gonna show you how i do my the breading for it so here i have some flour to that, I'm going to add some sazon and paprika, some cumin, some adobo, and salt and pepper. And then I mix that together. And that is the mixture for my chicken. So now I'm gonna take my chicken, get off any excess liquid, then that's gonna go right here in my flour. I just want you to see it's a nice light bread in Okay, folks, we're about to fry our chicken. So before I fry my chicken, um, in order to add some flavor, some extra flavor, I take some scallions, garlic, and hot peppers. And make sure your hot peppers don't have any holes in it. And I actually just add that to my oil. And I let that fry really nice in my oil first take that out and then i start frying my chicken so you'll get to see what it looks like so keep in mind the peppers and the scallions and stuff have moisture in it so hence all the popping but that's all going to stop in a little bit
So all I'm looking for is for my herbs to blister really nicely. You don't want them to burn completely, but you want them to get really deep color. They're almost there. So this is what I go for and then I pull them out and then I'm going to add my chicken right into that bowl. Okay, so my chicken has been cooking here for about eight minutes and it's almost done. One of the things that I did when I seasoned my chicken was to pull holes in it. One, so that the seasoning can go through, but two, so that as the oil starts going, it can really get some space to make sure my chicken is cooked all the way without burning. So chicken is almost done. See how nice that color is coming? All right. I'm gonna let that sit for another two minutes and then pull them out. All right, so chicken is all done. You can tell the oil is still going, but my chicken is that perfect golden color. Okay, and nice and crispy. So I'm just gonna put that right here in my cooling rack and let it drain. Okay. 